Hello, I'm Keith Ford, one of the gun techs here at Brownells, and welcome to this episode of From the Vault. Today I'll be talking about the Type 99 Air Socket. The Type 99 was the final development in a series of three rifles that started out with the Type 30, which was developed in 1897. In 1905, the Type 38 was developed, and it was chambered 6.5. As Japan started its expansion into China and the Pacific Islands, they soon realized that the 6.5 cartridge wasn't quite what they were needing, and development of the 7.7 soon started. In 1939, the Type 99 was finalized and went into full production in early 1941. Taking features of the Type 38, the Type 99 was quite different though. Type 99 utilized a dust cover right here over the bolt, anti-aircraft volley sights right here, a monopod which was designed to help protect the softwood stock when they were shooting in a prone position, as well as protective ears that guarded the front sight, unlike the Type 38 which had no protection at all as well as addition of chrome line bore which protected the bore from corrosive salts and damp human environments encountered in the Pacific Islands. Okay, now a lot of people see the rear anti-aircraft sights as a waste of time, but the theory behind this was the Japanese thought that 15 to 20 infantrymen taking on a slow moving aircraft biplane which the Chinese were using was a pretty good idea. It might have worked, but it didn't last very long and soon this rear sight, which took a lot of time and effort, disappeared from production. Now one feature that was shared with the Type 38 was the use of the Type 30 bayonet. Simply affixed right here. Once the bayonet was attached, it was pretty formidable force during bonsai charges, as there was hundreds of infantrymen that would come at the forces with these. This particular rifle right here belongs to one of the employees here at Brownells and was handed down to him from his grandfather. This rifle was obtained during the war in one of the Pacific Islands as they were cleaning out one of the caves there. This one right here is a definite capture, as you'll see with the chrysanthemum. Any of them that were turned in, they were defaced and this was ground off. This rifle right here, we can see See the manufacturer's mark right here, that's Kukuro Arsenal. And the bayonet. With this right here, that's Nagoya Arsenal. And this is a really, really neat piece to have something so complete and so nice. And even the sling is still attached. I'd just like to know some of the stories that this thing would be able to tell. If there's any guns that you'd like to see featured on From the Vault, please leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.